Hi, I'm Sina Nerasina. Welcome back to this Gaia 1 Complete. We're on episode 10, and so let's go. I think it was this one. Episode 8, Reincarnation. I will sing along, but I don't want to ruin the moment. Oh yeah, what you've been hearing is actually someone singing in-game. <laughs> Sorry, I was clearing my throat. Prinnies? Um, where are you going? Don't try to stop them. Oh, hey, it's big sister Prinny. She hasn't been like in this game for a while now. Welcome back. Huh? Just let them be. They were finally able to atone for their sins. Yes, this is very important for the preenies. The only thing we can do now is pray for their happiness in their next lives. Yeah, it's very confusing. Is this what they mean when they say fly by night? And <laughs> yes, actually um, it is. Yes? You seem different from other preenies. Yeah, that is right. Are you the one who gave me medicine when I lost my pendant? Well, what are you talking about? Yeah, he was her. You even speak differently than the rest of them. Well, what, what do you mean? Dude, I'm the same as the others. Dude. Yeah, it's not something that is elaborated on in this game, I think. But some preenies have very strong wills when they were humans. So when they turn into a preenie, they actually retain some of those. Uh, in this case, she retained like her speech patterns and like the color she's red because when she was human i think she was a redhead i think well at least her it was that color that's what i'm trying to say the, the, her hair i understand you have your reasons right okay then i'll just direct this to whoever might be listening thank you for your help <laughs> Since you came, the prince has changed, dude. <laughs> it's very funny how she's trying to force herself to say dude. Huh? You really think so? Sure, dude. Thank goodness! They say that I see things the way I want them to be, so I wasn't sure if Laharl has actually changed or not. But it can't be just my imagination if you noticed a difference too. All right, that means Laharl is definitely awakening to the idea of love. Love is magnificent. <laughs> it surely is. Episode 8, Reincarnation. Reincarnation. So as I explained before, <clears throat> Prinis. Oh, what? Another scene. Like I said, several prinnies are missing. Why? How should I know? Maybe they ran away because you treated them so badly. Hmm. Come to think of it, 20 hour workdays with no days off was a bit harsh. I mean, yeah. That sounds like. Uh, I mean, it is pretty harsh unless you are, you know, an EA employee. <laughs> Sing. It's no wonder that they chose to fly by night. Fly by night? Is there something you're not telling us? Uh, no. Nothing at all. Prince. Hmm? What? Don't worry. 
They'll be all right, dude. I'm not worried about them. If people hear that I let my vessels escape, I'll lose all respect. That's why we're gonna find them, even if it is a big waste of time. That's so mean. You don't have to say it like that. Take it easy, Flan. He's just too embarrassed to admit the truth. Really? Yeah. I think. <laughs> okay. So, yes, yeah, so I was explaining, uh, Prinny's reincarnated uh, to atone for their sin. So, once they get enough money or they do enough good deeds in the network or in Celestia, they can reincarnate. Okay, so I haven't, you know, trained at all. I'm playing this right after the last episode. So before we start, I'm gonna, yeah, rearrange my equipment. In this case, I need to take this away from front since it's the hearth. Give it to the hearth. Now, if I remember correctly, yeah, uh, I gave Freya these glasses because you know I need it. Where is uh... oh here it is. Yeah I needed uh more heat to see if, if I could increase my chances to steal the horses wing. <laughs> uh but what did free oh yeah she had shoes on yeah the ninja shoes here you go you're right, you two, you two. Uh, you two, you two, you two. Let's see, where are you? Oh, yeah. This is the uh, Flon's equipment. I gave it to a preenie just, so, just so I wouldn't forget. And I think I gave. Oh, yeah, you. Yeah, I gave her, you know, because she was defending before uh, it occurred to me to use Flon instead. Oh yeah, but you, the cape is yours, yeah. Here you go. Okay, the plastic nose. Now, the horse winner increases attack. I mean, I guess I could give it to a hull. That's a big attack boost in exchange for his defense. Maybe if I take the Devil Ring? Yeah, that idea I actually like. So, here you go. And now for Edna, I could take away the Super Belt. Or maybe I should give this to Flon? I mean, Flon could make good use of it, yeah. This way I can give the King Orb to you. Yeah, that's more like it. Now, as for the Muscle item... I could give it to Freya. Let's see how much HP has it has. Uh, 250 is not bad, but as you can see, you don't really are increasing 250 HP. I mean gaining, I don't know why it said increasing. Yeah, even the Muscle Victory has more HP, so really the Achilles body is not that good. Yeah, I guess I could give it to Jack. Also, take the steel armor. And where did I leave the brain? Oh yeah, here it is, Mahogany's brain. I could give it to Flon. Instead of the orb, or instead of the shoes. 
it takes away too much resistance to take the holy orb, so yeah, I think the shoes... I don't mind the movement loss as long as I get, you know, good intelligence. Uh, I could give it to you, I could give you the shoes, yes, yeah, so you move a little more. Mm, I could give you this instead of the... What about the Imperial Seal? No. I mean, it's a little more intelligence in exchange for resistance. Oh, it also gives me a little more hit. Uh, yeah, I guess I can do it. So yeah, now everyone is rearranged. Let's stop. Well, Prinis are humans after all. I guess they live in the, their life in the netherworld is something they'll never get used to. I don't think they are that delicate. I've been keeping this secret. I'm actually a female. Oh yeah, I, I totally forgot to mention that Raddy is a female. Welcome to the Overlord's Castle. Sometimes grand introductions like that are good, aren't they? You're asking me? Uh, I really don't know what to say. Have you got, have you got a use for this? Staff for sorcery. I wonder if this is better than what I have. No, it isn't. <laughs> <gasps> oh, that's really sad. Oh, which reminds me. My other mages don't have... Yeah, I could put this in any of my mages. I guess I'll, I'll give it to Katrina. Yeah, she's my most powerful mage. From this tree, I mean. I mean... I thought he was going to say something different, since he's a preeny. I heard the preenies run away. It's no surprise though, since they're working on their U-prints. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, come on now. You know what I mean. Heart, heart emote. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Hatred. More and more is coming back to me with each passing day. I remember the time, the time the king and queen first met. A demon falling in love with a human? I felt like the king was going somewhere out of my reach. His happy face, the first time I saw his smile, my heart ached. As I watched the king smiling, I felt my hatred for the queen grow. My loyalty to the king, I felt like all my feelings were being ignored because of that woman. And then the prince was born, the son of the king, the son of that woman. I was torn by opposing feelings back then. Things have started to change recently. But my feelings towards the queen ended before I could deal with them. So yeah, something happened to the queen. I mean, it should be obvious King Krichapskoy died and yet the queen is nowhere to be seen. She should be the overlord, but it's Lahar instead. I don't think I'm gonna be needing to level up for this chapter, so let's go. Today I'm going to give you a pretty straightforward hint. Go to Lunar Snowfield, the prints are there. You know, I don't think you can call that a hint. Yeah. Prince, have you talked to Sami over there? He was bragging about having an important hint for you. Yeah. Now let's go to Lunar Snowfield. So I guess uh, fire is going to be useful for this map. Oh, enemy boost by tree. Oh, the... Well, these are called Cyclops, but I think in later games they are, called, they are called Nether Demons or something. They are powerful and have good hit. Oh, I see. They want me to destroy this and change it for this one. Mm, I wonder if I can power through. I'll try. 
the enemies don't seem to have uh, a weakness to fire like in general so I should be careful with that oh yeah let me turn on the animations again oops We are going to try our best. I want to use a sword draw, but I don't know, we're just hitting two of them. Also, what's with the music? It's pretty sad. The enemies are not so powerful. I guess these are the ones I should be taking care of. Uh, let's see if my attack can get over there. Nope. Mm. Okay, I need to throw some mages over there. You know what? I can throw Flon. She's better. <clears throat> What were you big to? Oh yeah, wind. Yeah, it's so nice to have flown finally, you know, putting in some some uh, help. Putting in some weight. I think that's the phrase I'm looking for. Anyway, sorry for that. All right, this one is weak to ice, and this one is weak to ice too. All right, I can use ice. Yeah, mages uh, are becoming more useful since now I can uh, afford to have better items. You are weak to fire, that's great. And you are weak to fire too. I can, I guess I can use the star mage. Off you go! Oh wow! That's pretty powerful! I really hate this mushroom, fellas. I really do. Okay, so yeah, this one has a lot of resistance. What were you weak to? Ice, perfect. Yeah, well, resist this. Oh, come on. I need, like, throw her. I guess I can use my mage. Anyways, yeah, resist this. There we go. Wow, the demon didn't even attack me. And like, I'm quite in range. Oh, also, yeah, they don't have that much movement. Also, why, why are they called Cyclops? They have multiple eyes. They should be Triclops or something. Uh, you're weak to ice and you're weak to wind. Your resistance is not super high. Now, these guys have a lot of resistance and defense. Oh, so they are like walls. That's why they are not moving. They don't want me to get there. Oh, excuse me a second. Okay, I'm back. Very sorry for that. There was a lot of noise, so I'd rather just pause the video than to have to <laughs> you guys deal with that. 
Okay, so this guy is very resistant, but as you can see, I'm actually damaging him, so it's time to gang up on him. Gang up on him, yeah. I really need to practice my pronunciation of some words. And Lahar can handle these guys. Oh, wow. That's a lot of resistance. Here I come. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need the thief to throw someone over. Uh, I guess I can throw Edna. Let's see, if I put you here and I use you to throw Edna over there, yeah. This works like a charm. They will probably, you know, try to uh, follow Edna. Maybe. Yeah, you were with two eyes, so it is. Yeah, they are not even moving. Yep. Okay, time to finish this. I guess one can kill it. And if she doesn't, I can always just use Freya. Here I come. There we go. Let's see if the demon attacks now that I'm in front of you. Yeah. It's been a while since last time we received a, a new emblem. If I remember correctly, emblems were awarded to you uh, based on the number of uh, revivals you had on your units since not many have died hey hey you uh, me like if you really want to farm for emblems you can do it since like from the the first map in the game just throw a pretty have it kill uh, clear the map go heal it and etc and repeat like for a hundred times and you will get a lot of emblems. <laughs> yeah, you. You really don't know anything about the Prinnies. You've been acting weird ever since this morning. I don't know anything. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. What? Prince Laharl, I have a name and it's Flan. Yeah, that's very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That's very mean. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Just call her by her name. It's not hey or you. You have never called me by my name. Not even once. Since the first time we met. S so what's it to you? People's feelings are delicate. They can be hurt by just the slightest insult. Laharl, you are too inconsiderate. 
You should approach people with more love. The pretties ran away because you have no love. What? You stupid love freak! Who do you think I... There. That's the attitude I'm talking about. You'll never become a respected overlord with an attitude like that. Flan, that doesn't seem like the kind of advice an angel should be giving. <laughs> Ugh, what do you know about being an overlord? Forget it, I'm not talking to you anymore. Yeah, so if you haven't realized it, this episode is a little more serious than the previous ones. Yeah, even the music is... Wait, these guys... Oh, I, I see, there are multiples. Like, yeah, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. And you? 1, 2, 4, okay, 8, yeah. That's interesting. I never noticed that one before. Like, does the map have any meaning? Like, the, the shape or something? Oh, I don't think so, but if you discover something, please tell me. Anyways. Now, there is an attack that is called Dimension Slash that will be perfect for this situation. It's a sword technique, but I don't have, like, the sufficient uh, sword mastery to, to use it. So let's just use Wing Cutter instead. I have an idea. Let's just front attack first. Also, I think I found a way to <coughs> sorry. <coughs> to stop the the crusty sounds from you know when we are, when I'm playing and you heard like bzz, or like an interference sounds because of the laptop. I've noticed that doesn't happen when I'm using the, the wireless headphones because the audio is coming from the headphones, not the laptop. So yeah, from now on I'll try to use my headphones more often. In this case I only hit two because of the... of the elevation, yeah. Alright, let, let's just... Yeah, I... It's better, sometimes it's better to let the enemies get to you instead of going to them. Because sometimes they are just so... So far away. That it's better to... Just lure them to you. Oh, come on, just die already. There we go. So yeah, you see, these guys have started moving. What are you weak to? Alright, not the same element. No, not at all. So I'm gonna use a star. What level are you? Oh yeah, that's going to kill you. You are the strongest, right? Yeah. So I'm going to send Lahara over there to deal with all the Eringas in there. And Flon can deal with the ones over here, so yeah. There we go. Alright, you're weak to fire, so I can send Katrina. Yeah! And just in case, just to be sure... Oh. There we go. Ah, 
Aha, I knew it. Uh, oh yeah, I can send, uh, yeah, you. With the help of the dark cannon, I think we can uh, make good work of the remaining ones. Oh, come on. Okay, now I get uh, how it works. Uh, the, the reason I wasn't hitting these ones is because I was aiming here, so, you know, the bullet just went through. So the elevation is important. Now to get rid of the cannon. Yeah, these two are dead. And as for you... There you go. Oh, by the way, I'm going to date this video, but uh, the, the two new Pokemon games were announced, the uh, the Pokemon Legends Arceus and the Diamond and Pearl remake, they, they already gave us like the release dates, so for the Diamond and Pearl, it's going to come out on November 21st, I think, and... As for the Legends Arceus, it's going to come out on January of 2022. So yeah, I'll be playing both. And I think it's great uh, that they come out like during uh, winter. Winter time. Because that uh, I don't need to, you know, have my fans turn on. And I can just relax and be cozy and play. Yeah. Okay, let's go. We are looking for prinnies. Don't forget that part. So far, we haven't seen any. Hmm? Why is Laharl so stubborn? Huh? You kidding? He's always been like that. I don't think that's entirely true. Haven't you noticed? His emotions are slowly changing. I thought that he'd finally awoken to the power of love. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so that's why you were so angry. Yes. That's a demon for you. You seem to have your hopes pretty high. But don't you think that asking for love from a demon is a bit ridiculous? You think so? Well, the prince's case is a bit unique. Unique? Yep. You see, his mother, the queen, was an eccentric person. She was always talking about love and kindness. That's not weird at all. <laughs> well, I didn't hate her, but I guess she couldn't help it being a human and all. A human? So, yeah. Yep. She was a witch who came here to study. Isn't that interesting? Some backstory. The king fell in love with her at first sight, and eventually the prince was born. Hmm, is that so? She was always saying things like demons can love too. Whenever the prince did something bad, she would scold him because she wanted to raise him to be a kind boy. Maybe you remind him of his mother, Flan. If he was raised that way, why is he like this now? The queen died. Huh? 
A long time ago, the prince was infected with a rare disease that even the king couldn't cure. There was only one way to save him. Which was? The life of one who loved him. Then? That's right. The queen took her own life, despite the king's efforts to stop her. It was at that point that the prince started to hate love and kindness. Yeah, that's pretty sad. How sad. So unless his hatred fades, Lahara will have to live the rest of his life without love. Oh, that's just not fair. Maybe so. But I don't think that he's intentionally trying to hate love. Hatred isn't something that just disappears that easily, is it? Maybe you were a bit rough on him today. <gasps> well, don't try to get me involved. Sorry if I'm quiet. Yeah, anyway, sorry. Uh, my neighbor is a carpenter and he was doing, you know, a lot of noise. Uh, but since uh, I have the noise gate uh, filter on OBS, I don't... Uh... Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Like, as long as I don't talk, you can hear, like, what's happening around me. That's why I was keeping quiet. But I just closed the window. I mean, I I'm trying to do my best to keep the window open because it's pretty hot. And I don't have any sort of AC, just some old fans. So it's pretty annoying. I'm Hopefully this is enough to kill them. Perfect. Yeah, warriors, you know, are not usually known for their high resistances. Except for these two, apparently. Yeah, I blame, you know, the randomness of the stats. So, you can resist that, but, let's see... Okay, fire. I should use fire. Wait... Maybe I should use wind. Yeah, because the, the one with the wind is the one with more HP. Yeah! Ah, uh, this guy is pretty resistant. 
But I won't surrender that easily. Just please die already. Thank you. All right, now that I have destroyed uh, that, I just need to place this here and they won't be a problem at all. So I'll just go with Laharo. I need to throw him. There we go. I don't know what why uh, they aren't attacking me. It's so weird. Yeah, all of them have different, you know, weaknesses. Except these two. These are always, you know, weak to fire because they are ice mages. Also, don't worry about their items. Yeah, they are uh, already. I already have better items. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I guess I could attack them with magic. Okay, these three are weak to ice, so maybe I can use ice magic and then fire on these two. All right, let's try that. right this will help a lot there we go yeah I think no wait this one is better as for you I could use this one. I'm surprised they survived. There we go. Oh, I can move. Oh, yeah, because I had to change positions. All right, now we use the Star Mage. Whoops. Forgot about that. Oh, I don't have enough. And I don't think... Or maybe I can, let's see. Okay. Maybe if I get close enough, but I just remember I don't have any items. Yeah, I was I was going to recover my SP, but I didn't bring any items. Whoops! My bad. I guess I can kill the two that survive. Yeah. Since I didn't level up, Be gone. like from uh, between episodes, I'm struggling just a little bit, but you know, not by much. I am quite strong at this point. Ah, these two are both weak to wind. Ah, you too. 
Huh, that gives me an idea. Uh, how do I wanna... Nah, I, I was I was gonna, you know, planning to put the other one in here so I could use magic, but nah. I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. go. Who wanna level up? Wait, I... Okay, uh, I just thought the, the healer sprite looked weird, but no, it looks okay. Okay, now, under the moon. Those are the souls of the Prinnies who've atoned for their sins. You know the legend, don't you? That inside the Prinnies are the souls of sinful humans. Yes, and they work in Celestia in the Netherworld to atone for those sins. Why is that treated as a legend if it was being treated as a fact before? That's right. The Red Moon purifies their sins so they can be reborn. Yeah, so they can only fly by night during the red moon. What a heart wrenching sight! Edna, stop them! Prince, weren't you listening? The Prinnies are being reborn. Shut up! I never gave them permission for that! I didn't even press say the we'll hard drag them back on. here if we have to. So, as you can see, even Edna is being reasonable towards the Prinnies in here. I think this uh, particular sprite was changed from the first Disgaea. I clearly remember this guy looking, you know, different. No one interfere. We'll see about that. Those printies are mine. But yeah, basically this guy is the Green They're Ripper. My vassals for all eternity. Are you worried? Yes, it would be a lie to say I was not. But I shall leave this I I shall leave it to the one who loves him most. Uh I thought this was going to be full of prinnies. Okay, um this may be a little troublesome. They are, you know. Getting closer to my levels. And they are resistant to magic, yeah. So I have to brute wait. This one has an amazing defense. Almost as good as his resistance. And what about the boss? Yeah, I, I, the stats are always are almost like same as the bosses. Oh no, you too? Oh, it's because they are like... an evolution of these ones? Ah, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna use Lahar for this one. No need to use the mages this time. Also, I forgot to buy recovery items again. Whoops. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to use the dark cannon. Huh. 
Well, that's one less problem, I guess. So yeah, this guy is specialized in magic. But as you can see, even like five of them couldn't take out Jack. And he's level 18. So the equipment always makes a huge difference in this game. You know what I'm going to, yeah, take Jack away. I can take this, those two out with Edna. Yeah. I just leave her here. In case I need an extra heal or something. They totally ignore Lahara and Edna. <laughs> Pretty powerful, I won't lie. What are you weak to? Wind and you, wind to and you, fire. Okay, fire, that's good. I can use this one. Oh, targeting height problems. What about you? Same. You're not even weak to ice and you. I guess I could do it like that. Oh yeah, the Nekomata. No, not you. Yeah, you. You should be pretty useful on this map. I just need someone to throw you over there I should get me a new Nekomata after this there we go ouch Yeah, they completely, like, ignore the hull. Here I come! Ha! They are pretty sturdy, I, I'll give them that. If only I could place Edna in here, I could, you know... Just the asteroid drop. Maybe I can. that first okay let's kill oh, I kind of kill that one all right let's kill this one Is 
This one has a lot of SP. Or maybe this one has been using a lot, let's see. No, yeah, I think this one has been using a lot. He has been using a lot of mega spells or something. Okay, let's finish this. Ah, oh, yeah, I hate it when they survive. There we go. Why are you interfering with work? Work? That's right, dude. You shouldn't interfere with Death's work, dude. It's here to guide the souls of the Prinnies to the Red Moon, dude. <laughs> it's funny to keep, vassals, keep saying, dude. If you have any love for them, then you should wish them good luck, dude. I mean, she. She's a woman. Huh. You sound just like that love freak. It's what's best for their sake? That's right, dude. I see. Then I'll let them go. It's interesting how the heart, you know... Well, it's actually, actually, uh, well, it's actually acting rationally now. You understand, dude? Well, yeah. Thank goodness. Then I can leave without worry. Wait! What sin? What sin did you commit? I took my own life. Taking your own life is a grave sin. Why would you? To save my son's life. So yeah, the game is basically spelling out for you. Because spelling it death, out. My son shut away his feelings, but he's changing ever so slowly. It's all thanks to the wonderful people around him. My work here is done. The rest is up to my son. You're just going to leave? Not even a goodbye? Despite how much you love him? What cruel words you speak. <sighs> of course I would like to reveal myself. Of course I would like to hug my son with my own hands. But if we are destined to part again, then wouldn't it be better to watch from afar and leave without a single word? He has suffered enough already. My silence is how I show my love. That's pretty tragic and sad. I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to cry myself. I'm sorry. I tried to push my idea of love onto you without considering your reasons, without considering your feelings. I'm sorry. That is an important life lesson. <laughs> Prince, you've met a wonderful person, dude. Always take a person's feelings before you act. <laughs> you know, uh, when you do something that affects them or try to push an idea on them, yeah, always think before you act. Prince, basically. take care. Blan, Etna, take care of him for me. Goodbye. So, yeah. <gasps> If you catch a glimpse, her hair was the same color as the pretty skin she was wearing. The red moon reflected in Laharl's eyes, swaying sadly. A gentle, loving mother who gave up her life to save her son. A son who could only accept his mother's death by denying love and kindness. I can't imagine how painful, how difficult it was for him. But I'm sure the Red Moon will wash away his sorrow. Love, huh? Huh? Nothing. Let's return to the castle, Flan. The Harl! 
When Laharo called me by my name for the very first time, I noticed that the red moon no longer shone in his eyes. I'll always remember the sad tale of a mother and her son. Episode 8, Reincarnation, End. Warning, warning, our hero emerges to save the Earth from the vile clutches of King Lahar. His name is Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Bonjour, I am your own personal Dark Adonis. <laughs> With his beautiful sidekick Jennifer and multi-purpose super robot Thursday, Captain Gordon takes the netherworld by storm! Another fantasy of yours, mademoiselle? Who will win this cataclysmic battle? The evil king or the defender of Earth? Pardon moi, but no one is listening. Next on Mobile Girl at last, Stardust Memoir, Episode 9, Invincible Captain Gordon! Soldier's tears illuminate the starry sky. Everybody, just ignore her. So well, yeah, that was quite an episode, actually. It was pretty sad and, you know, serious. Uh... All these Gaia games have an episode like this. And sometimes at the middle, sometimes in the middle, other times in the end. But yeah. Uh, but don't worry, the next episode is going to be more lighthearted. Lighthearted? Yeah, I think that's the word. It's all about uh, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Ah, uh, he's one of my favorite characters. He's just so hammy. Uh, but anyways, enjoy the video, leave a like, have something to say, comment down below. One more, please subscribe. If this video ending, you can bet it is. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.